Back on the Big Ten and beyond, 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick has been all over the news of late due to his decision to kneel during the national anthem as a means of protesting what he sees as racial injustice. It's a move that has added to the national conversation about race and has spread throughout the sports world. And this past weekend, it found its way to the Big Ten as several Big Ten teams saw players go through similar protests, including Michigan, Michigan State, and Nebraska. Let's start with the Wolverines, where several players raised their fists in unison while the national anthem was played. Jordan Lewis, Mike McCray among them. Jim Harbaugh had said a few weeks ago that while supporting Kaepernick's motivation, he took exception to his method of action. Here's what he had to say about his players' actions. I've been thinking a lot about this over the last uh, four, five, six weeks. I mean, because I'm the football coach, that doesn't mean that I can dictate to people what they believe. So, um, you know, I support our guys, and uh, I think this is this is something that it's gonna it's gonna it's not going away. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna keep happening. Um, so, um, but it's not something that's gonna keep them out of heaven. And uh, so, I'm not gonna really worry about it when it's something that doesn't keep somebody out of heaven. I mean, they're, they're speaking their minds, so um, I support them. This is America, and that's what the flag stands for. It stands for the freedom to do what you need to do, and that's the beautiful thing about this country. At some point in time, you know, when the true enemy comes, I guess we'll all stand together. But I can't make assumptions for our players for what they've gone through in their lives. All I can do is try and lead in the best way I can and, um, and be positive and accepting to our football team and our players. And when we come together after a football, after the national anthem, we come together with solidarity. And I think that's what's important. Three of D'Antonio's players raised their fists during the anthem before the loss to Wisconsin. Dalton Williams, Gabe Sherrod, and Kenny Like. As for Nebraska, linebacker Michael Rose Ivy was one of three Huskers who chose to kneel on the sideline while the anthem played before their game at Northwestern. Here's what Rose Ivy had to say in the aftermath. As we looked at what's been going on in this country, the injustice that has been taking place primarily against people of color. We all realized there is a systematic problem in America that needs to be addressed. We felt it was our duty to step up and join the course of athletes in the NFL, the WNBA, college, and high school using their platforms to highlight these issues. We did this understanding the implications of these actions. But what we didn't expect was the hate, was the enormous amount of hateful, racially motivated comments we received from friends, peers, fans, members of the media, and others about the method of protest. Some believe Deshaun Muhammad and myself should be kicked out of the team or suspended, while some said we deserve to be lynched or shot just like the other black people that have died recently. Another believed that since we didn't want to stand for the anthem, then we should be hung before the anthem for the next game. These are actual statements we received from fans. These issues are bigger than football. These issues are bigger than me. These issues are bigger than you. These issues are bigger than all of us because it impacts all of us, whether you believe it or not. We must have accountability. We must have understanding. We must have love, but we also must have genuine dialogue, we must have genuine, under, or genuine solutions, and demand genuine action. We must demand that from ourselves, we must demand that from our family members, we must demand that from our friends, we must demand that from our schools, we must demand that from our police officers, we must demand that from our government representatives, and we must demand that from everyone in this nation. That is everyone's role as a conscious being. I believe we are supposed to look out for one another and call the injustice in the world against the oppressed, even when you have nothing to gain and you have everything to lose. It is my hope that in taking a knee, the consciousness of the entire nation will be raised and everyone will be challenged to truly come together and work towards fairness, equality, and justice for all. We all have an important role. We all have that role and we all have that responsibility. God bless.